let the function fx is equal to negative 3a x square minus 2 when x is less than 1 and a square by bx when x is greater than 1 is differentiable for all x belongs to r. So, agar koi function kisi point pe differentiable hai, then it must be continuous at that point. If any function is differentiable at any point, that means it is continuous at that point. So, first we'll go for continuity at x equal to 1, LHL should be equal to RHL. So, at x equal to 1, before that, for LHL, it will be minus 3a minus 2. And for RHL, we will be putting 1 here, it is equal to a plus b. So, we'll get one relation between a and b, that is, uh, it will be a square plus b minus x. So we got one relation that a square plus 3a plus b is equal to negative 2. Now we'll go for differentiability part, means LHD is equal to RHD. And since it is continuous, we can differentiate directly folder wise rather than going for the LHD, RHD basic definition. When you differentiate this, you get negative 6ax and putting x equal to 1, you get negative 6a. And differentiating this, you'll get b equal to negative 6a. So you can replace b equal to negative 6a in the first equation. So that gives you a square plus 3a. In place of b, we are writing negative 6a plus 2 is equal to 0. So we are getting a square minus 3a plus 2 equal to 0 which is quadratic in A and gives you two values of A, which is 1 and 2. But in question, it is clearly mentioned that A is greater than 1. So we have to reject A equal to 1 and select A equal to 2. So we have A equal to 2. And since A is equal to 2, B is equal to negative 12 with us. So we got the value of A and B. Now what we have to find is area of the region enclosed by Y equal to Fx. So what is Y equal to Fx now? Let's redefine fx by putting the value of a and b, which we obtained. So a is 2 over here. So first one is minus 6x squared minus 2 when x is less than 1. And putting the value of a and b over here, we get 4 minus 12x when x is greater than or equal to 1. Let's try to draw the picture of this so that we can get the idea which region area we have to find. So before 1, before 1, we have to plot this graph y equal to negative 6x square minus 2, which is downward parabola, whose vertex is somewhere on the y-axis. So the graph will be like this. Exactly at 1, what is the value? When x is equal to 1, y is equal to negative 8. For this, it will be a straight line, which is having slope negative 12. So it is again decreasing in nature something like this and it is continuous so we'll be starting from same point like this and uh, we have to find the area of this region with line y equal to negative 20 okay so this graph is y equal to negative 6x square minus 2 and the other one is y equal to 4 minus 12x and we need a line y equal to negative 20 which will be somewhere here and we need to find out where they are intersecting this straight line in this parabola. So in this parabola, when you are equating it to negative 20, you will be getting it as x square is equal to 20 minus 2 is 18 by 6, which is 3. So x will be equal to plus minus root 3. But we have to select negative root 3 because it is on the left side of 1. On the other hand, when you are equating this straight line to negative 20, 4 minus 12 x equal to negative 20. So you will get x is equal to 20 plus 4, 24 by 12, which is 2. So this point is x equal to 2. We need the area bounded between this fx and the line y equal to minus 20. This area we need. So required area can be obtained by this area of total rectangle minus area of fx which can be obtained using integrating fx from negative root 3 to 2 negative root 3 to 2 in dx now how to find area of rectangle that is length into breadth this distance is how much 
2 plus root 3 and how much is the height height is 20 because this line is y equal to minus 20 so this is the area of rectangle part which is 40 plus 20 root minus uh, we have to take more because fx is completely below x axis so area should be positive but integration will be negative now what is fx fx has two partitions till one it is minus 6x square minus 2 so when you are taking more it will be 6x square plus 2 from negative root 3 to 1 and then we will have minus 12x plus 4 so again when you take more it will be 12x minus 4 from 1 to so we have to do this in degrees. Let's simplify this. It will be 40 plus 20 root 3 minus integration is very simple. You can do it. So it will be 2x cube plus 2x for the limit negative root 3 to 1. And this integration is 6x square minus 4x for the limit 1 to 2. So this can be easily simplified. And when you simplify, you'll get this answer as 22 plus 12 root 3. And now we have to equate it to alpha plus beta root 3. So when you're equating it to alpha plus beta root 3, you will be getting alpha as 22 and beta as 12. So alpha plus beta will be 34. Let's check what is the answer given. Answer is given as 34. So 34 is the required answer for this question.